Hello folks, friends, pals and chums. Today I'm going to be playing a game called Streets of Rogue. A rather fun little, I would say it's a stealth action game from a top-down perspective, which is, well, full of randomly generated environments, crazy tools, angry dudes, and of course, rogues and other such villains. I think this is the kind of game that just lends itself to, uh, well, explaining by showing. So I'm going to jump straight into a game. So I have a host of characters to choose from here. Slum dweller, gorilla, scientist, investment banker, cannibal, slave master, zombie. That zombie has a lovely haircut, by the way. Today, I'm going to be playing lovely upstanding chap, Mr. Assassin. Looking dapper there with his red headband. So, the Assassin has a variety of abilities, the chief of which is, of course, assassinating dudes. So, just to demonstrate what I'm on about. Hmm, that was a terrible assassination. Oh, I bring shame upon my plan. I would commit immediate Sudoku, but of course... There we go, let's neutralize a chap. Boom. And his mate. Oop. That was not a good assassination. Yeah, let's punch the dude to death instead. And I gained a gas mask. How appropriate. And of course we deliver a quick backstab. Oop. It's a bit hard to hit sometimes, but I can pull it off. So the assassin, as you may have noticed, has the ability to backstab people. And he can camouflage, making himself invisible. This ability is uh, on a slight cooldown just a little bit longer than the max camouflage time. And if I pull off a successful backstab, it doesn't actually drop the camouflage. So I can ninja an entire room of peeps if I would like. So come on, Angoon, turn your back, I dare you. His back was totally turned. I'm offended. But fortunately the ninja comes with his trusty shurikens and polite manners. What an upstanding killer. Nothing good in here though, just, just a bit of doodads. The way the game plays is that you complete various missions. For instance, the thing we saw at first was a neutralized mission where I was just tasked with taking out some dudes, lethally or otherwise. I have one mission with that sees me retrieving an incriminating photo. Oh goodness, the resistance leaders would never cheat on their spouses. Help this completely truthful narrative prevail. And I have to steal it from a safe. Well, I can certainly do that. First of all though, mm, looks like a trap. As any, well, as any Mon Calamarian would tell you, those are bad mojo. Oh dear. I am being watched. Oh no. Well, it seems like the thief was, yeah, the thief was cunningly fooled by my camouflage. And I just Scarf down on the bacon cheeseburger I found off of a dead dude. Truly a game for civilized people. Civilized people, assassins, and jerks. Oh. Oh, you prick. What you want? Wouldn't you like to know? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock on this door 
fellow is gonna come running over. I camouflage and... Oh no, I'm in the house. The killer's inside the building indeed. And I have retrieved an incriminating photo. Plus a four leaf clover. Normally, you'd need to be up all night to get lucky. With this, you'll have better luck all the time. Goodness. Plus a baseball bat. Don't mind if I do. So, I've completed the first floor without destroying anything even. Um, let's see here. Well, I don't really have any use for infectious spin. Spirit, but Nimble Fingers is always useful. That way I'll be able to disable cameras faster, etc. Which might have come in handy earlier. Then again, we'll see how things turn out. We have a bartender, an office drone. And we have some police officers. A slum 20. Nothing all too impressive, but... Our local friendly neighborhood drug dealer has a mission. I see, he wants me to destroy a generator and he'll give me five chicken nuggets. Now, as much as I might enjoy healthy food, sometimes it's just difficult to turn down chicken nuggets. Hmm, three people who would most likely be very angry if I were to destroy this. Question is, can I do it? Yeah. <laughs> An excellent caper. I just have to avoid people patrolling. I don't think the goons are going to be too happy if they find me. Yeah, they, they can keep searching for a little bit. Meanwhile, let's rob a bank. Another brilliant caper. And it earned me quite a fair bit of dough. Dough, scratch. Lincolns. Or do you say Lincolns? I don't know. Jefferson, perhaps? Hmm, the scientist has been snuck up on. How fiendish of me. Oh, I see, there's a couple of gorillas in here. So if I'm able to find a way to unlock those doors, presumably the gorillas would no doubt take a lot of umbrage with these scientists. And that's where the hack tool comes in handy. Oh dearie me. Oh, now that scientist is having... Oh, they punched him into a pile of blood. I should probably aim to stay hidden at least. No real sense to subject myself to unnecessary violence. Violence is bad after all as this scientist can attest. Oops. What could possibly have happened to his friend? <laughs> and well, let's get the receptionist for good measure. I mean... There's a couple of gangsters, but... I don't really feel like messing with them. You need to free that slave. I'm sure there's some way to do that in a peaceful and loving way. Perhaps we could all learn something about the joys of being nice, upstanding citizens who do not particularly care for violence. Much like these cops. Speaking of which, police batons are quite tremendous weapons. But that police officer doesn't need it. I will, however, need to stay 
away from the investigation. They might draw the or they might draw some unfortunate conclusions. Now then. Oh, oh dear me. That was not great. Well, that's what guns are for. I am probably breaking all sorts of ninja codes right now, but Ah, oh, the gorilla offered to help. They're kind of it. And now I actually do feel like messing with these gangsters. It's a ninja eat gangster world, people. Dangerous, unpredictable, and utterly, utterly full of ruffians. Now the question is, what do I do to deal with this bouncer? Hmm. I'll pay him some beer. And get some FUD for the effort. Oh goodness me. Oh well, looks like the monkey got spanked. That's unfortunate. Ah. Boom. This is a robbery, fellows. Ow. Goodness. How violent. Hmm. Nothing more of use in here, though. One more mission. I have to take a baseball from the bartender. And there's a cellomatic, so I can sell some junk I've accumulated. Where is he here? Oh well, he's alone in there. This is gonna be like stealing candy from a slightly booze-smelling baby. I can't really say I condone baby murder. It's a very uncivilized way to go about things. I don't really need all of these weapons either. And they can be useful in a straight-up fight, but at the end of the day... I'm a ninja, I shouldn't be getting into those. And if I do get into those, well, I have a machine gun. It's hard to argue that anything can't be solved with liberal application of minigun. Or machine gun, really. I wish I had a minigun. And a free shuriken. That said... I don't know why I picked that one. Instincts are truly the worst. Now... Slums 3. Kill a robot? I ah, it's this chap. Hopefully I'll be able to avoid him easily enough. Ow, eerie me. Well, that's what the machine gun was for. Where's the robot? Ah, ah, good. Oh, sh oh shoot. Oh. I was a shonky rescue. I bring shame upon my family. I'm 
there's a killer robot. I am just going to close and Ollie out there. I have to neutralize the barman. Oh. My posse is too big. Goodness. I'll go get him, tiger. That's more of a kitten than a tiger, really. And I did need that. And then I'll leave it there before the police catch up to my antics. Hmm. That looks like some kind of dance act they were doing there. What is this then? Yeah, the drug dealer just doesn't really pay all that much attention to the... Oh, no, 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 no. I feel like the robot might feel the need to shoot if I'm too close. Okay, okay. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> oh dear me. Oh, oh no. Like violence is going down. Hmm. And the robot is there. Can I make it into. Yeah, of course I can. The head? No? Oh dear. Oh dear. Who would have thought that they'd have an issue with me walking into their uh, safe room? Is this- Ooh. Hi robot. Oh dear. <laughs> Wonder if I can slip into the safe room though. I'd hate for that to be a total loss. is coming so it's time to make a quick escape and some gang violence has erupted hmm well folks that's it for the first episode of streets of rogue i hope you rather quite enjoyed it as always please like subscribe and leave a comment with feedback random swears, entertaining tips, and if you'd like to see more, please let me know in the comments 
which character you would like me to play next. Or if you would like to see a continuation of the ninja story. So, hope you had a lovely time. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.